Wow! In just one hour video, Vari finally gave a public address on Namde Kano's release. The president, known as Baba Goslo, has avoided addressing the crowd for a very long time. When gunfire broke up peaceful protests against police brutality at the Lake Tour Gate in Lagos, the outrage followed swiftly. Social media feeds filled up with gruesome footage of bloodied young people screaming and fleeing bursts of gunshots from men identified by protesters as Nigerian security forces. Within hours, U.S. presidential hopeful Joe Biden and African Union Commission Chair Musa Faki Muhammad we are issuing staring condemnation on the violent speaking, saying that the president is doing nothing about it and still has been unable to give a public speech on that very issue. One voice was noticeably absent, that of Mohamed Buhari. It took Nigerian president two days to break a silence. On Thursday, that very day, he delivered a 10-minute address, after which he called for an end to the protest, seemed to conflict the protesters with looters and said his decision to agree to enact reforms had been misconstrued as a sign of weakness. The president seemed relatively unmoved by the deaths and injuries suffered by the protesters in the crackdown and the national outpouring that followed. Young Nigerians have been protesting against the brutality of the Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad Police Unit under the NSAS hashtag since the beginning of October. This government respects and will continue to respect all the democratic rights and civil liberties of the people. He said, but it will not allow anybody to disrupt the peace of our nation. President Mamadou Buhari on this has spoken, saying that he will do all within his power to see the country true. Since then, nothing has happened until the arrest of the IPOP leader, Mazi Namdekano, who was arrested in Kenya and extradicted to Nigeria. Buari has been working assiduously to see to the arrest of Mazi Namdekano, not until he successfully conspired with the Kenya government who are to date denying not having anything to do with Nigerian government as per conspiracy. President Mubari, in just one hour video, have given a public address on Mazen Namdekano's release, says that his release centers on the judgment that would be out of the court on October 21st. He says that his works will still remain transparent and decisions no matter what the public says. <laughs> My viewers, the president hasn't still spoken. Bori has not spoken. As far as I'm concerned, he has not spoken because he's still beating around the bush. He's still beating around the bush. Bori hasn't still said what is in his mind. Bori has a plan to release Namdekano, but he is afraid and ashamed 
of saying it publicly. He almost said it in this very address, but it was just a shame of spitting it out. But is that not a disgrace? He knows that if he sees it, that the world will laugh at him. The world will laugh at him because they have told him already that Namdekano has no case. Wole Shuinka have already said it that Namdekano has no case. Wole Shuinka said it that Nigeria will be embarrassed. Will be embarrassed if Namdekano is taken to court. And now they are gradually getting embarrassed. Um, a monarch, a monarch still said it that Bari has a plan to release Namdekano. Today, Abdul Salam still said it. That's Abdul Salam Abubakar. Still said it that Namdekano will be free from detention. A See, most of Barry's aid are, you know, cunningly saying it so that uh, uh, in case Barry finally says it, it will no longer look like a new thing. Hmm. Ah, oh, shit. This country is very corny. Very corny. I'm full of deceitful people. Full of deceitful people. That is why I said he hasn't spoken. He hasn't spoken. He should hit the nail on the head. He should say it that Nnamdi Kanu should be released. And then questions will be thrown at him. Will be thrown at him. Why did you say so? Why did you order for his release? Why? Why at last are you, have you, are, you, are you done with ranting? Are you done with threatening? Then, Imam the Khan on his own will now sue the federal government. Will now sue them. Wari hasn't spoken. At all. He hasn't spoken. As far as I am concerned, Wari is still beating around the bush. He hasn't said what the people really want to hear he's still deceiving himself claiming that he's deceiving the ipods he cannot deceive the ipod for so long he cannot deceive nigerians for so long he cannot deceive the people for so long because the people already know the truth the people already know that nabitam has no case the people already know after many years that Bwari has been feeding the nigerians with lies not on timazin and kano is extradited in Nigeria to Nigerian people started knowing the truth why now the canon have to run to the UK which is to save his life that is why you see that now the canon started having support from from different countries both in Africa and international private and local lawyers keep you know showing interest to stand for him look at what happened in the last uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the in the in the first uh, uh, trial that the, that dsa didn't bring martin and the to the court look at what happened before before the arrival of martin and the Kanu, over 30 lawyers have already entered the court they enter, enter the court waiting for them the Kanu, of which over 90 percent are for them the Kanu. What is finished? It's finished. Huh. We don't have we, we don't have president too. We don't. Do you think we have president? We don't. At all, we don't. Well, that is by the way, anyway. My dear viewers in the house, uh, I will appreciate it to hear from you to know what you have to say about this that Bari has just said in this on our public address um please don't hesitate to leave your comment below the comment section on this very issue don't forget please if you're new 
click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.